to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. One more time. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Now, please listen very carefully. There are men and women here. Everybody has a role and an assignment to play in destiny but there are specific people here the call for destiny and the call to serve the purposes of God has been trailing you like a shadow and God has been beckoning on you some of you have seen it in dreams you have seen God use you mightily now the time has come for that grace to locate you Listen, I'm going to pray for you and the power of God will begin to fall on so many people. Please, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to bring this category of people that I'm praying for right now. Hear me? That the call of God is upon your life and the grace of God is marvelously looking for you and at work in you. For some of you, it is the prophetic. For some of you, it is the evangelistic. For some of you, it is the pastoral. Right now, at the count of three, I'm going to stretch my hands. The marvelous fire of God will fall upon you. Let me have them out here right now. At the count of three, Father, in the name of Jesus, over the men and the women here, may that mantle and that grace locate you now. At the count of three, one, two, three. Take that fire now. Bring them out. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. I ignite your spirit, man. Bring them out. That call of destiny. That grace. You are answering that call tonight. Oh, by his angel, may he visit you. I release that grace upon your life. I release that mantle upon your life. I release that anointing upon your life. Let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, help those under the anointing. Calibra teca tereca tosca te branda gata balatos. Egra cata paragos calibranda cosa di baliata. Calibares cati branda catusiata. Ebra catus cati balacatusiata. Take that grace. Your destiny will never be the same. Now listen carefully. Hear me. There are some of you here under my, the sound of my voice.
there is a mantle for prophetic intercession it's a grace that is made for the altar an anointing that will rest upon you and grant you capacity to pray over nations capacity to release nations in prayer at the count of three may that grace fall upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now the grace for prayer and intercession please help them don't allow anybody run around without holding them whether you are an usher or not please so they don't injure themselves receive that grace receive that grace prophetic intercession like Elijah like Anna the prophetess Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That gentleman wearing a tag, putting your hand on your head. This man. Yes, you. Come. You are a student. Where? Lift your hands. God is going to use you mightily. There is an anointing coming on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will step into new seasons. Of the grace and the power of God. Now hear me. I want to rebuke the spirit of delay. That has tied down your destiny. And as I pray for you. Some of you that spirit that has tied down your destiny pegging you at the same level it must let you go now are you ready at the count of three i want you to shout jesus and that fire will rest upon you that every altar holding you down that will not let you go it must release you now father let there be liberty at the count of three shout jesus one two three I command that devil go now delay I cause you help them help them help them help them please hold them delay I cause you by the Spirit of God delay I cause you delay I cause you I release you to go forward I release you to go forward I break those chains now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is by the name Abimbola? Abimbola. I'm hearing a name Abimbola. Is there someone like that? Abimbola. Abimbola. Your life and your family is about to change. Who is that person? Please make sure you verify so we don't have this place rowdy. What's your name? I want to pray for you. Where are you from? Who is from Ekiti? You are from where? What state? Is the mic working? Please sound, help us. Ekiti state. You are from Ekiti state. Where are you from? I'm going to pray for all of you, but this word is for you. My dear, look at me. The Lord is visiting your family. Huh? I'm, I want to pray for you. I don't know anything about you. But the Lord is revealing to me that the family of Abimbola from Ekiti State, there is a wicked altar that has tied down people from your family. And you are still a victim of that thing as I'm praying. But right now, I command that devil to let out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Halanda shalakroskadila baruzia tebra haskia. My dear, look at me. This one. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing something running around your head like smoke. 
I command that devil to let you go now in the name of Jesus and I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit be free from every confusion in Jesus name I pray hallelujah is there a name like Ade Olu Ade, like Ade and Olu Ade Olu who is that Ade Olu this is I this is a lady I'm seeing white and blue white is it white and blue white is there someone like that what please verify don't just bring them out we're on air what's her name Huh? Abiolu. Abiolu. The person I'm seeing is Ad. I'll pray with you, but I'm saying Ade. A D E O L U. That's the name. I want to pray for you, my dear. Listen to me. Do you believe in the power of God? Where is your mother? Where is home? I'm going to pray for you. Tell your mom that you came to this place and the Lord hijacked the spirit of death over your family. Hallelujah. Please make sure no one is injured. Whether you are an usher or not, once someone is under the anointing close to you, it becomes your business to help them even while you are receiving. Please. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare what God says to one, he says to all. Every manifestation of the spirit of death over anyone's family right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i curse it in the name of jesus 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 i curse it in the name of jesus, name of jesus. my dear I declare freedom for your family particularly your mother in the name of jesus the fullness of our days she will fulfill in jesus name i pray now hear me the lord is revealing something for me i believe that there may be a number of people having that situation every time anything good is about to happen or even your exam is about to happen you will have a dream and in that dream either you will see something coming to molest you or you will see yourself in an old building I know that many people may have that experience. I may not ask you to come out just where you are. I'm going to pray with you because there will be so many people. Something is about to happen to you now. Hear me, please. Everyone under the sound of my voice, including these ones, at the count of three, every spirit that is not of the Christ, now massive deliverance will happen here right now. So please, um, you will see all kinds of manifestations please do well to help the people i decree and declare at the count of three i want you to shout jesus and i will command every spirit that is not of god it must release your destiny your time of liberty is now be intentional about this father i pray that every spirit that has tied anyone's life and destiny stopping them from manifesting destiny right now at the count of three i pray may your fire come and bring liberty for them are you ready now at the count of three shout jesus one my god two three now i command that devil come out of them now out of their destinies out of their lives every cause every yoke every spirit i challenge you by the power of the Holy Ghost, bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. I rebuke every spirit. Go, 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 go out of their destinies, out of their lives, out of their families.
have that lady please hallelujah don't be tired i'm still praying look up please let me teach you something please look up let me have your attention can i tell you this most of the challenges that are written in the prayer requests you've written most of them are caused by the presence of wicked spirits jesus himself said well men slept an enemy came and sowed something and you will wake up with a condition i'll be praying for the sick shortly but we are still going to shout that name one more time hear me everything that has tied you down he told Lazarus, he said, lose him. Lose him and let him go. He tied your father and your father could not succeed. He tied those who went before you. But you are that one person who will break free from it and say, no way. Are you ready to shout that name, Jesus? Father, I pray that anyone across this ground who is a victim of any oppression by the power of the Holy Ghost, and the blood of the eternal covenant at the count of three let their liberty come finally one two three shout jesus powers of ancestry powers of witchcraft foundations wickedness spirits of inheritance diabolic manifestations of darkness release god's people now release god's people now open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare i am free from every chain that held me back i am come on someone pray I am free. I release myself by the blood of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? I declare my liberty over yokes, over curses, by the blood of the eternal covenant. I am free from yokes of ancestry, foundations, He who the sun sets free, indeed is free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help them, help them please. These are just demonic manifestations. I set them free. It doesn't mean the people are witches and wizards. You understand by now that God is setting them free. Now please look up. Listen carefully. Just listen to instructions. Listen carefully. I want you to place your hand on your head. I want to pray a prayer for you. Just do what I'm asking you to do. You'll be surprised to see what happens now. father i'm stretching my hands now anyone's destiny that has been exchanged that the destiny you are living is not what you god preordained for you because by witchcraft and manipulation that your destiny has been exchanged as you are laying your hands on your head the power of god is coming on a few people right now i decree and declare every spirit that has hijacked and manipulated your destiny let there be a restoration now help them please a restoration now a restoration now a restoration now Thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory 
you lift my head but thou O oh Lord are a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head but thou O oh Lord are a shield for me my glory you lift my head my goodness something is happening but thou O oh Lord are a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head my glory the lifter up of my head this nyc lady come your life is about to change are you a copper you're wearing where are you from huh from emo state emo state lift your hands i want to pray for you the lord has located you tonight the Lord wants to break an embargo that has stopped people from going forward. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over you. May that embargo be broken now. And for your sake, I release everybody connected to you. That everything that has tied them, let tonight be the night of release. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can take down your hand, please. I want to pray. Listen, do you know? Do you know? Listen carefully. Do you know there are spirits that close the door of supplies and favor over the lives of people? Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. And when your hands are closed, you cannot receive anything. I'm praying for someone now everything that has tied your hands so that you labor and labor and labor and nothing comes from it by the power that raised christ from the dead hear me i speak by the god who called me this night i lose your hand now i lose your hand now i lose your hand now hallelujah praise the name of the lord now i want to still pray concerning the issues that relate to your academics not everybody failing is dull there are times that you fail because you are not paying attention you are not giving your studies the best but believe me when i tell you there are wicked spirits that sit upon the destinies of people to sabotage them can I pray for you you are the covenant keeping God you are the covenant keeping God Yahweh the covenant keeping God Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. One more time. You are, you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. There was a grace that was upon Daniel and his colleagues. The Bible says when they were tested, they found them to be ten times better 
I want to release a grace upon you. And I want you to believe it. Excellence is a spirit. You can contact that grace. And the results can show. I stand by the anointing of the God who called me. And I declare. Anyone who has been failing here. Anyone who has tried and tried. And these doors don't seem to open. Right now. Receive the spirit of excellence. Receive the spirit of excellence. Help them please. I command every devil. Fighting your academics. Hear the word of the Lord. Let them go now. Every devil. Fighting your academics. Let them go now. Hear me. There are many people here. By your next result, it will be 5.00 on the dot. I hope you don't think I'm just motivating you. Let me say it again. That by your next exams, 5.00 on the dot. Every spirit that makes your script to be missing. Every spirit that makes it all. Every time there is a problem with results, it's always your results. There are issues that you have concluded on. But there is a spirit that keeps carrying you over. In the name of Jesus. I cast that spirit by the God of heaven. Supernatural understanding for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before I begin to pray for the sick, listen carefully. If you are here, because I know that it's not everyone here who is a student, if you are here and either you or your loved ones have been trusting God for jobs and career breakthrough for a long time, lift your hands. Let's end this thing once and for all. Please lift. If you don't believe it, put down your hands. That there is someone you know or it may be for yourself you are saying oh god locate me and visit me he said i'm by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet they were preserved i pray for you in the name of jesus for you and everyone you are standing for everywhere your job is whether it's in the north the south the east the West in Europe, America, by by this anointing, receive miracle jobs, career breakthroughs, miracle jobs, career breakthroughs, miracle jobs, career breakthroughs, in the name of Jesus. God is able to settle men. Help them please. Help those under the anointing there. Mighty things are happening in this place. For some of you, before you get back to your station, your loved ones will call you and say, I can't understand what is happening. Strange doors just opening by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for the sick now. I will come back to speaking over you a little later, but I want to pray for the sick. The devil is a liar. There is a sweet 
Anointing in the sanctuary There is a stillness In the atmosphere Oh come lay down The burdens you have carried For in this sanctuary God is here Holy, holy, holy are you Lord Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Ah. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. For you are glorious. And worthy to be praised You are the Lamb Upon the throne And unto you We lift our voice in praise You are the Lamb Except for those under the anointing, those in front, you can return back because I want to pray for the sick right now. You can just stand by faith wherever you are. You are trusting God for a definite touch and a miracle. Please lay your hand. Those under the anointing, just let them be. When they are good, there's a reason why I ask that they come out. Anyone who is not strong enough to stand, please leave them. Let them be. Place your hand where you are trusting God for healing right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Now hear me. We are going to celebrate the miracle walking power of Jesus right now. Listen carefully. Please listen. I am going to pray for you right now. Some of you, as these spirits left you, as these impartations came, certain demonic occurrences and patterns have gone and have left. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to be praying for you right now over any infirmity in your body and the power of God will touch you. The moment that happens, I will give you an opportunity to check yourself. The moment you see that the power of God has touched you and you can do something you could not do, I want you to come and stand right here or I think we should just use one central place. Right here, wherever you are, then you come and stand. We'll take a few testimonies. Then we'll go into the session of prayer there. And then prophetic declarations over your life. In the name of Jesus. Place your hand now by faith. And believe in Jesus. Place your hand. Believe in Jesus. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Keep your hands there. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus. I believe, Jesus. There's healing in your name And as we worship in your presence There is healing The Holy Spirit's gentle touch Is flowing Jesus We Jesus, there's healing in your name. Now keep your hand right there. I want to rebuke that spirit right now.
Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. My God, I sense a strong anointing just moving upon people right now. Every spirit that is back of any infirmity in your life, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command that that spirit leaves you now in Jesus' name. I command that that spirit leaves your body now. Therefore, on account of the finished work of Christ and the victory purchased on the cross, I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. Hepatitis, be healed in Jesus' name. Every lump around your breast area, I command that devil to disappear now. Every growth in any part of your body, it dissolves now in Jesus' name. Eye conditions, be healed in Jesus' name ear conditions I command that ear to open now there's someone you came here with severe pain you can walk but your thigh area has severe pain the power of God is touching you right now and is bringing healing for you in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone you've been treating typhoid months after months. This is almost like three getting to four months in a row and you've not been healed. I decree and declare, be healed now. There's someone who has been suffering from peptic ulcer. You've gone to the hospital. You, you, you can have severe heartburn. The power of God is touching you now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Focus on Jesus. There's someone. It's like you have. Is it? I don't know if it's. Um, this is something that I know has to do with your kidney. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, I really don't know what the name of the condition is but I declare be healed now be healed now God is showing me someone in a vision you can't sleep on one side of your uh, your body you have to turn only to one side if for any reason you lie on the side where that, that your heart is you wake up with severe pain around your chest region here right now the power of god is resting on you be healed in the name of jesus now there is a lady here in fact two ladies here i see whether whether is is the time for your period or not at any time it can just be as if you are your, you are your period and this thing has brought you a lot of embarrassment and discomfort right now the power of God is touching you where you are and is bringing healing and normalcy to your body in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone even when you are sleeping you are hearing like there's sounds just at your right ear You've even gone to the hospital to check it. You don't know what it is. Even when you are in a place that is absolute silence, you will still be hearing that sound. I command that demonic occurrence to end now. Severe, painful stomach ache. I decree and declare be healed now. Be healed now.
there's someone I'm seeing. I don't know what is the name of this condition. But if you stand in the sun, you stand in the sun. Even if it's just for a few minutes, you can start feeling dizzy. As though you are dehydrated and you almost want to fall. I command that condition to be healed now. Now hear me. Whether I mention your case directly or not. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. There's someone, you have suffered a condition called bronchitis. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is bringing you healing right now. And the Lord is asking me to pray for someone. In fact, the Lord is telling me that person will be surprised when I announce what this is. This thing has embarrassed you. Even if you are standing, the moment you try to sleep, you will start snoring. Very heavy snoring. Your roommates and people around you have said, what is all this? No matter what position you take, you will keep snoring. It's like it's a problem around your, your, your throat area or whatever it is. Even if you stand, not that you are in an uncomfortable position, you will start snoring and a loud snore. And this thing has embarrassed you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I command that that condition comes to an end now I will just say it as he's told me there is somebody here I'm not going to ask you to come out it's not that you live the wayward life you too you were surprised you went to the hospital to do a blood test over something else and they drew your blood and they found out that it was positive to HIV. You've not been able, you've told only two people this thing and you have been praying and praying. In fact, part of the request that we are going to pray for, you wrote it down there. I don't know who that person is. You don't have to come out so that you don't feel embarrassed. But in the name of Jesus, we are agreeing for you that by the power that raised Christ from the dead, HIV dies this night. Amen. HIV dies this night. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is somebody, um, don't feel embarrassed, I will say it and then we'll pray. We're wrapping up. Around your private area, there are some strange, strange irritations. Something that it, 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 looks, it looks like rashes or something that has been there. This thing has been so embarrassing. You've gone to the hospital. There is nothing you have not tried to do. And this thing has embarrassed you. The pain is excruciating. You've used medication. You've used creams. You've used everything. It has refused to go. I want to tell you that it's a very demonic thing. It's not a medical condition. Right now in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that demonic thing leaves you right now. One, two, three, four people. I'm seeing four people with this condition. You are even afraid of going to the toilet. Once you feel like easing yourself, you are afraid because of this condition called pile very painful condition of pile right now you will know for one of you you will know right now that you've been healed because that pain the pain even when you sit on a chair you still feel the pain right now in jesus name may that pain leave you right now the camera is showing me people's photos if you came with anybody's photo or you are agreeing for anyone, lift it up. I want to pray with you. Remember the story of the centurion. The servant was not there and yet the power of God touched them. I pray for your loved ones. Every one of them trusting God for healing. Right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Right from this ground. May the healing power of Jesus go through time and space and touch your loved ones wherever they are. In the name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus now hear me I'm going to ask you to check yourself right now and the moment you find out that the power of God has taught you I tell you so many of you who came out under the anointing here you will go and check yourself now and you will see that there's been complete miracles I want you to check yourself the moment you find out we have just like 10 or so minutes for that the moment you find out that the power of God has taught you something has happened to you boldly leave your seat quickly and come and stand wave your hands gentlemen let them see you come to this gentleman and will take your testimony right away right away check yourself now let's celebrate Jesus as they come from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same keep coming your name is to be hallowed Adonai from the rising of the sun your name Are you celebrating miracles? Four squares. This is how you celebrate the mighty hand of God. Look what God is doing in the midst of his people. Check yourself. The moment you find out that there is a miracle, please make your way quickly to the front. Make your way to the front. mighty God look at what the Lord is doing here now hear me we are going to do it very very fast as they confirm you your name your testimony very very quickly is there someone there coordinating them okay your name and your testimony very quickly let's hear what Jesus has done very quickly my name is Akali Damari Victor when Apostle was ministering he mentioned my dad issue he said he does not know the name but me to us in our family too, we don't know the medical name. It's, it's, a, it's very long name. But is that like, mic working? What's, what's wrong? I'm not sure we can hear you. Okay, go ahead, quickly. My name is Akali straight to, No, 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 straight to the point. What happened now? My daddy issue kidney. You mentioned the issue. And I was also placing his picture. And I believe the Lord has healed him at home right now. And mm -hmm. also, there's something in my private part also. I touch it and I did not feel the, the pain. I did not feel the arches there again. In the name of Jesus. Again. My friend, you are healed completely in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. I was facing up this picture, this video of this small boy. Right now, I call, I call his mom now and ask him how he's doing. Because normally, he finds it out to sleep. He said, just, uh, just a, for, for just a, a, a me. Within, within short minutes, this picture here, the guy starts sleeping without crying. Oh, the baby used to have a problem. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we seal that miracle Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. For okay. someone I'm prophesying to you, from this night, this is how your meetings will be characterized with strange manifestations of the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Very quickly. I went to the clinic last night to get a drug. Then this morning, I came for service. I was not feeling fine. I was hot. I could not even stand up properly. I could not even tell my friend this was what was wrong. As I was seated there this evening when he was praying for healing, I yes. just felt a push to just come outside. Then I stand as, as I was standing outside. I felt something melt in my body. It was like a burning sensation. I just felt something melt and I felt stronger. I could stand uprightly now. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, that devil never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Omka Grace. When daddy was talking, he said, there is somebody that is feeling pain at the left leg. You can walk, but you usually feel the pain. Yes, whenever I walk too much or I stand and I try to lift my leg, I usually feel the pain. So I purposely stand to see if I'm going to feel the pain. So after daddy prayed and I received, I can't feel the pain anymore. Completely like gone. gone. Celebrate Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Praise the Lord.
My name is Oyure Juliana. For past three years now, I have pelvic inflammatory disease. And on a normal day, I can't press my lower abdomen here, but now I can't touch it. Go ahead and press, press it. Any it. pain. Hallelujah. Any pain. Completely gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Keep your hands there, my dear. I decree and declare perfection. I cause that pain. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Praise God. My name is Abraham. I had surgery last year, March, um, towards my um, abdomen. So after some times, I was feeling torment in my heart, like it pains me. The pain comes once in a while, but during the prayer, the pain went. Completely. Yes, sir. My dear one, the Lord perfects you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. My name is Phoebe Benjamin. I remember during January, I had ear pain. And so, a, a metal was removed from the ear. Few months a what? after. Metal. From where? From my ear. Physically? Yes. Oh my God. So, few months after, I had an operation. And since then, the ear was not functioning. But when our pastor prayed about ear opening. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Are you getting our testimony? Metal was removed out of the ear after surgery. She couldn't hear with it right now. Don't cry, my dear. Ah. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Place your hand there. I just want to seal your miracle for you. Place your hand on your ear, both of them. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's celebrate with this, our dear sister. My God. Praise God. My name is Arika Olua Shemluri. So for a while now, I've been feeling a slight pain, like in this side. And I've been feeling like something is wrong with one of my kidneys. But I did not tell anybody because I know a friend of mine that had to go through kidney transplant and it didn't go well. So I was trusting God that it would not be anything like that. It was just slight. And I don't know what it is. So when he said that there is somebody, an issue with your kidney and he doesn't know the name, I just connected to it. And right now I cannot feel any pain. You can't pain. feel any pain. That devil lets you go forever in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Emmanuel. This early morning, as I was preparing, I felt like my spouse was spinning me. And my goodness. You see how many when, people? Look at this. When I came to the service, Four square. Look at this. Look at this. Said, look at Jesus. this. Look at what Jesus has done. Yes, please. Go ahead. I said this early morning as I was preparing for the service. Yes, please. I thought my smoke was paining me all around. And right now, what happened? Right now, I am free. You are perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Taiwo. I've also mentioned my case. I don't sleep on my right side. And when he said it, I was shocked because... My sister that stays with me, she was even complaining that why is it that I sleep on the back? But I don't really want to tell people because it's been long. And when the thing started, it was when I was in school, I dreamt that I went to a restaurant and someone changed the meat I was to eat in that dream. And immediately in the dream, I held my side and said, you poisoned me. And someone ran and said, yes, you cannot vomit it. And since then... Help that lady. Since the then, power of God is on I, someone. I don't now. sleep on my right side, and in the night, if I mistakenly sleep on my right and I start breathing heavily, I'll feel the pain. I have done several tests, can a lot of tests, they did not see anything. So and right now, me, right now, the pain has gone completely. I, I have, yes, sir. Something yes, sir. happened, and now I know he touched me and made. May the Lord perfect you. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Very quickly, let's hurry up. Praise the Lord. My name is Esther. For, for four years now, I've been having pain beside my abdomen side. And sometimes it's so serious, I can't stand straight. Sometimes I pain. Uh, right now, what happened to you? And most times, I can't touch it. But I touch it and touch there, it was, now. there was no pain. Completely. There, there, there was no pain. And then, 
most times when I'm pressed and I want to ease myself, there's a pain. I feel pain in my bladder. It, it's so severe. Right now I'm pressed and the pain is not there. In the, the name pain of Jesus. Is not there. Now, Praise hear the me. Um, there are so many people and we need to do some other things. Here's what will happen. Please, let me just have those who are helping to screen them. Let's just have three or four very strategic ones. And then please, all of you still remain on the queue. I'm going to pray for you. Whether in your campuses or in any other session, if there is here, you do well to testify so that we can pray on the requests and then we'll redeem time. Very quickly, very quickly. Okay, please. Who is next? Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Oguntayo Yikosola. Since I was in primary school, I've been having stomach pain. And today, the pastor said anybody that has stomach pain will be healed in Jesus' name. Yes. And now I cannot feel anything. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again, my dear. In Jesus' name. Yes, Praise please. God. My name is Olubo De Angela Oluwa. Um, when Apostle was talking, he talked about peptic ulcer. And last week, I was rushed to the hospital. And the doctor, I've been living on drugs since then. And the diagnosis as peptic ulcer. And when he was talking, he said, peptic ulcer is gone. And immediately, I fell down. So I believe it's gone. Then I had this pain in my leg that I could not work very well. And now I can work very well. Completely healed. Your healing remains permanent. In Jesus' name, I pray. Praise it the Lord. My name is Adebo Yolaide. Now, um... As at, even as at this morning, I cannot close my eyes for five minutes without water coming out from my eyes. And when I say water, I mean tears dropping from my eyes, seriously. And on the nose, from more than, as long as I can remember, I can't see far. And that's why I can't even come close. And if I talk, uh, come closer to the light, I can't even see what is it. So I have to go very far. And even if I'm, if I'm, I'm very far, I can't. So, but now, when we were praying, God told me to open my eyes. And I saw clouds. And so God said, this is the last time you will see clouds. And when I closed my eyes, I felt the pain. And God, I felt the pain. And God, I, when I opened my eyes, I could see from where I was. Come on, celebrate Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected forever. Yes, please. Praise God, my name is Adebola Adekunle. And for some time now, I've been feeling pains in my breast. My, sometimes it comes to the left, some it, sometimes it comes to the right, sometimes it comes to the boat. But recently it was in the right that I cannot even, immediately I touch it, I have to remove my hand from it. But as it was praying, it was like some people, so, someone is here with breast love and I connected with it with faith. As at now, I can touch it freely and I cannot feel any Give pain Jesus in praise. it. In Jesus. Give Jesus praise. That devil will never return to you again. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. My name is Nicholas Peterson. Last year, I had a problem with smoke. The area I stayed, uh, they smoked there. So, the doctor told me to come. When I went to the hospital, he told me I have a problem with my kid. He didn't tell my mommy because mommy is the one that cries too much. I have no, I have no father. So, he told me that she, she cries too much. So he told me that in anything I do, I should not fight, that much should not punch me. Last two weeks, I was coming back from Benin. I was robbed, beaten, my, I was punched, really. But I didn't feel the pain. When I got to my told me I was robbed. She told me that I should take my drugs. That night, I could not sleep. If I sleep, I must sleep on one side. Mm. I cannot turn. But when he mentioned about the kidney problem, I came outside here. I can't touch here, but now I can touch it. Touch it now. I can touch it. Any pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, my friend, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Can we have two more? Any two more? I see you hold a lady there. Let me hear her testimony. Yes. Praise the Lord. My name is Louisa. I've been suffering from, I've been suffering from eye problem and asthma. But after the prayer, I could feel better. My eyes were itching me. After the prayer, I could see clearly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It will never return to you again, my dear. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Olukoya Samuel. Since December 2021, I've been having an excruciating pain on my thigh. So when Apostle mentioned it, I just felt that I could not feel the pain anymore. Even I went to the toilet this evening and it was scratching me seriously. But now it is gone. Completely. Praise the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How many more can we take? Yes, please. I've been having tooth pain for like three years. Tooth pain? Yes. Okay. And it, used to, it has been shaking. So when you prayed for us, it, it fell from my hand. From my mouth. Right now? Yes. 
Interesting. What happened to it? It had been shaking. And it used to pay me for like three years. In the name of Jesus, perfection to your entire body by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Okay, let's have this as the last one then. I will just speak a general blessing to you. I know that all of you would want to testify and we place value on every miracle that has happened here. Maybe what will happen is that if it is possible, if we, I wish that they could document it, probably that's what you would have done since. But then since we are not able to do that, if and when they do ask that all those who could not testify and were healed, maybe to document any one of these, please do well to avail yourself. Let's have the last testimony. Praise God. My name is Testimony. Like from... <laughs> On Tuesday, before coming for GSE, I'm an asthma patient from my childhood. But when coming for the GSE, I forgot to bring in my inhaler. But on Tuesday morning, I was attacked by this asthma. And my colleagues in the welfare unit, because I joined the welfare team, they bought drugs for me. I've not finished my drugs now, because I'm supposed to take it tonight. I forgot to take it tonight. But right now, when I was praying, I was delivered from the asthma completely. And two, when the minister was talking about pie, I called my dad instantly, because his phone was always switched off any time he's at home. Once he's late, he do switch off his phone. And I prayed that God let this man on his phone. And when I tried the number, he on his phone. And I called him that, Dad, please go to the toilet. And when he said, and when he wants to go to the toilet, he said he could not feel anything at all. He has been at all for three months without yeah. going to work because of this fight. Hallelujah. And glory for this. Hallelujah. Are you celebrating Jesus? Now, let's stretch our hands towards our brothers and sisters here who have been healed. In the name of Jesus, stretch your hands towards them and declare perfection over these miracles. We decree and declare that these healings would never, re these, these sicknesses and infirmities would never return to them. The healings are permanent in the name of Jesus. And because you took the time to come out and stand for God's people to see that you have been healed, you remain permanently healed in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and the Lord increase you in Jesus' name. Please rise up on your feet if you can. Let's have the prayer request right now. Hallelujah. The prayer requests. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you, so you'll do what you do. We need a move. This is a move. Hallelujah. Many of you wonder why I love to pray on requests. I will tell you why. Because the Bible says, number one, that we see in part. If there are still more, please bring them very quickly. And so we prophesy in part. No matter what we see, no matter what we hear, we are limited in trying to identify what is wrong with you. But your prayer request here is the most accurate representation of your desire. Because you wrote it by yourself with your own hand as a communication of your desire. Hallelujah. Let's read a scripture. Let me pull up a scripture and we we'll read. And then we pray over this. And we're done. John chapter 16. John 16. We will read verse for time's sake. We'll read verse 24. Please give it to us media. John 16 and verse 24. God desires for you to receive answers to prayer. He says, Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. He said, Ask and ye shall receive. Why? That your joy may be full. God wants you to leave this place with the fullness of joy. Are we together? Now, here's how we're going to do it. You will stand. I will do the kneeling for you. You're going to stretch your hand by faith. 
and agree with me as we pray for the next one or two minutes i want you to declare by faith over your request here that father i have written it down the only thing i'm permitted to write again is my testimony go ahead and begin to pray 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 Are you praying? Are you praying? Declare. Sate kaparadga segete brende gede belens. Imbrete ke parakata prasegede belekosia. Father, visit situations by the power of your spirit. Kali barakatosh kali brende gede belekosia. Someone pray. Krentes kate balatosia. It is not too late. You are yet to submit yours. Let it come now. Pandesh kali grandos kali prahaskada. Be anxious for nothing, the Bible says. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. Shapako to shegrendege paratusia. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit families. Visit everyone by the power of your spirit. In Jesus name I pray shout a believing amen in Jesus name I pray amen. by the authority of the Word of God I decree and I declare this Egyptians you see today by the power that raised Christ from the dead may you see them no more forever Hear me, every human agent who needs to partner with God to bring answers to this prayer, I command that they must partner with God. And hear me, everyone who partners with Satan and says over their dead body for this prayer to be answered, may the ground open and swallow them. between now and the next three months i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead the same hand that wrote this request may that same hand receive answers now prophetically i stand upon these testimonies the same way i'm standing upon them they will never cause you trouble again we bring them under the feet of jesus christ in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we declare it done in jesus name now lift your hands i want to speak finally over you son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest can i tell you we are made by the prophetic words that we receive jesus himself said man lives by two things one is bread the other is words we live by bread and we live by words i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead 
every door that has refused to open over your life and your destiny i command that door after tonight let it be open for you hear me i stand upon the grace that is at work in this commission and i speak over your life shame and reproach hear ye the word of the lord be far from god's people from today in the name of jesus christ i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead by this time 2023 you will return with strange testimonies hear me everything that belongs to you but is in the hand of someone else by the power that raised christ from the dead i gravitate it back to your hands let the grace for favor rest upon you let the grace for speed come upon you in the name of jesus christ I pray for your prayer life everything that has eaten away your prayer fire let there be restoration now let there be restoration of your word study life can I tell you this hear me anyone in your life right now who is contributing to your destruction your downfall your lukewarmness this night I separate you and them forever And in the same vein, everyone who is a helper to your destiny, wherever they are, I call them by prophecy, appear in your life now. Please hear me. Nobody standing here will be taken over by the spirit of death. any spirit programming death over you between now and the end of the year that you will not cross over into next year alive i curse that spirit in jesus name now hear me i pray for every campus represented here in the name of jesus as you return back to your various campuses especially when the strike is over let fire through you engulf your entire campus prophetically i stand in agreement with you and we pray over the existing asu strike father for the sake of god's people may mercy speak over the federal universities in the name of jesus christ that the federal government and ASU will be able to reach an amicable agreement so that school will be open. I also pray for you. The moment you are graduating, may your job look for you. I say it again. The moment you are graduating, may your job look for you. We are wrapping up. Are there final year students here? There is something called the finisher's anointing. The grace that can push a man to finish strong. Wherever you are as a final year student, right here, we graduate you here right now in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. May nothing hinder your advancement. In Jesus' name. Finally, I pray for you. Listen carefully. Everyone family represented here, because everybody came from somewhere. Whatever has made them cry, whatever has made them weep, whether it is finances, whether it is health, whether it is career issues, whether it is, you know, 
marriage issues whatever it is in the name of jesus the lord brings your family rest round about rest round about rest round about i declare you blessed i declare you lifted i declare that you go forward from glory to glory in jesus name i pray now this is my final session and my time is up i apologize just lend me a minute i have to do this i presume that many altar calls have been made here and i presume that many of you may have responded to a few but i know that there is one person here who is saying apostle while i heard you teach all through your sessions and even now that i've seen the power of god i confess that i need jesus i do not want to end this congress and go back without an encounter keep standing we're wrapping up apostle give me a chance to run to jesus or someone here is saying honestly i've given my life to jesus but i have backslidden and as it is i need rededication our time is already gone i'm going to just count one to three you belong to that category don't be emotional about it this is about your destiny you know that you need jesus i want you to run and come and stand here i'm counting three now one if you are running run quickly two the moment i count three i begin to pray run to jesus let him give you a new beginning are you celebrating what jesus is doing finally three please lift your right hand say this loud and clear every one of you mean it from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem the lord jesus himself is here say after me loud and clear say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i have seen your power i know that you are real i make jesus lord of my life savior of my soul king of my destiny i obtain forgiveness of sin i declare by the authority of scripture that i have eternal life into my spirit i am a child of god from tonight and forever i am a child of god the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i walk in newness of life forever and ever amen father thank you for these ones they have made these gallant decisions by the authority of scripture i declare their sins forgiven and i pray and agree with them that they start on a fresh note lord the power that keeps the power that makes the power that builds the power that advances may this grace and this power be at work in their lives i decree and declare that you go from glory to glory and grace to grace for in jesus name i pray now very quickly before we wrap up may i encourage i think you are to go to my left someone should be waving his hands there please they are waving their hands please i want you to follow this gentleman just for a minute or two they will have your details and you'll be back to your seat let's and um, let's um, appreciate them as they go hallelujah hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching